at what point, I understand that officers have some personnel rights that, that have to be abided by. In the media, they talk about the fact that the officer has not made himself available to his attorney. At what point does, does right. the criminal process right. override his personnel rights and you bring him in for questioning? And not you or, or that Somebody. he is brought in for questioning. Because it, it, it's unclear from the coverage thus far what happens in that. Yeah, there's, 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 I can tell you what the legal aspect of that. There's two, there's two pieces to it. First of all, an officer, as anyone else does in the course of a criminal investigation, <coughs> can invoke his right to remain silent. He doesn't have to talk to us. Okay? In a police department personnel internal affairs investigation, the officer can be compelled to give a statement. In other words, he can say, I take the fifth, and they say, I'm sorry, you have to cooperate under our rules. And if he doesn't cooperate and give a statement, then that's insubordination and subject to discipline for that. The issue that comes up when we're getting into it, this is this legal mumbo jumbo, but this is how, how it works. The statement that the officer gives to the internal affairs division that's compelled under the law is an involuntary statement. And that, or anything derived from that, can't be used in a criminal proceeding. So in terms of the aspects of the two kind of avenues that the, the statement part goes, that, that, that's what the law is in that area. Are you aware of uh, what's being reported in the news that uh, the, the shooter is concerned for his life? Could you speak to that? In no, the so I, I don't know anything. I don't know anything. <coughs> no, I know seen, nothing of that. That, that, I, that I've seen in the media. Okay, so but do you think that if his life was a threat that he could be well kept safe in custody? Uh, I don't know that he's not being kept well safe. No, I don't know. I, I can't answer that. So you're not willing to make a public pronouncement right. to the constituents of the city and county what you said today to us, although it's not our responsibility to disseminate right. your words to us, you're unwilling then to make any kind of public statement to the facts or this, what you shared with us today? No, I mean, I've, I've said to the press that our, our function, we're doing an investigation, our function is to determine whether or not uh, the facts justify a criminal prosecution against the officer. That's what the DA's job is that I have investigators that are out working on it. I've said that. For FYI, for my non-legal <clears throat> perspective, I've is there that. a question, is there another kind of charge other than criminal prosecution at this point? Is there an alternative charge other than criminal prosecution? Okay. Well, so that I'm clear. Yes, yeah, as far as I'm concerned, my view is whether or not it's criminal prosecution. Okay. That's what I am. I'm, I'm, I'm the prosecutor. I'm the district attorney. My so, job is to enforce criminal laws. Okay. The other aspects, of, first of all, is, is obviously civil liability can be based on simple negligence. Okay. That's another okay. avenue of things to take. And then the other avenue is any uh, disciplinary action through the department. So those are kind of the three. That you're weighing. No, I don't, I'm only looking You only deal with criminal. Right. So I guess, as you said early on, the fact of somebody being dead and somebody doing the shooting is pretty much cut and dry. More or less your time to investigate deals with mindset and the whole other extenuating circumstances. That each level of criminal homicide requires a, a specific mental state. Well, then you're saying it is homicide, you're just trying to find well, it, out it, what it, level, whether it's it, first it, degree it is, or it is, it is definitely homicide, right. and, and, but let me clarify what I mean by that. Uh, a homicide just means one person killed another. Right. Mm -hmm. I mean, even if it were an accident, accident or clear, like self-defense, some guy shoots at somebody first and they shoot back and it's clearly self-defense, that's still a homicide. That's the definition of homicide. 
Whether it's justifiable, excusable, or whatever level. Mr. D, in terms of uh, your investigative process, uh, I want to ask you a question concerning that because there's a wealth of information that you already have in your disposal, which just shortens the time of your investigation. And we as a community are not going to tire in terms of longevity and time of investigation. So we want to know if you are putting a priority on coming to a conclusion in this investigation. Yeah, I mean, my, my answer to that, that would be yes. Uh, in, in, in most uh, officer involved we, we wait for a lot of things to happen. By that I mean for some of the tests to get done and, and we're trying to get everything expedited. In this. I mean, I realize, I, I realize the importance of this in the community. And believe me, I don't know if this is the right way to say it. But I, I want it off my plate as soon as I can have it also. Do, do and, and so the, the answer is yes, but that doesn't mean it's going to be tomorrow. To the, best of your knowledge, to the best of your knowledge, do you know whether or not um, the feds have been asked to come in and look at this, um, either to prosecute um, criminally under the federal statutes as opposed to state law, or um, if, in, in under a violation of Mr. Grant's civil rights? No, I, I, I don't know the answer to that. Um, usually, they, you know, they're obviously aware. Usually, they make the decision whether or not they come in. I haven't heard anything yet. But if you think this process isn't moving as quickly as you like, believe me, the federal process is much, much, much slower. Okay. So you, I appreciate everybody. But you say you want it off of your plate. Well, I, I want it that resolved. Okay. Uh, is it going forward as a criminal well, prosecution? Or is it or is it or uh, uh, it off into no, I want the decision done. <laughs> I want the decision made, is what I mean by that. Attorney uh, Orlau, if you want thank you. I have one question for you, uh, District Attorney. Just, um, I, I was upset when I saw the footage to the point that I'm still sick from it. Just from a personal thing, outside of you being a district attorney, when you saw that footage, how did you feel? Just personally, outside of your office, I mean, what did it make you feel like? I, I mean, I'm still having nightmares from it. I, 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 guess, I guess the, the answer, and, and you know, I'm sorry to say this, but you know, in this business we get a little more callous, you know, than the person, because we deal with this. And, it's very troubling, and we have to kind of develop our defense mechanisms a little bit. I, I would say I was shocked. I think that's more was my reaction. Okay. It's unbelievable, kind of. What it is. Okay. Thank you all very much. And, uh, thank you, Mr. Orloff. Thank you, thank you Mr. Orloff. Certainly, yes, sir. We hope to see Mr. Orloff charges <coughs> brought. And we need you all the money. And I'm going to make this.